Um, AZ from Texas wants to talk to us about experiences with religion in Texas. That's what I'm talking about. AZ, what's going on? Hey, am I on? You are live on Truth Wanted, bud. What's up? Cool. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm having a good time here with Erica, and I get to talk to awesome callers like yourself, so couldn't be happier. We're having a ball. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, in my area of Texas, uh, I live in uh, in San Antonio, mm-hmm. and uh, I know I know you. Uh, I, I saw you on the uh, on the uh, Street Epistemology channel. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, a while back. I've been around San Antonio. Uh, I know, <laughs> right? But I know. I know you know a little bit about San Antonio. Uh, my area of San Antonio, at least, like it, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty liberal, I would say. Right, San Antonio is relatively liberal, but Texas as a whole, we know, is pretty conservative when it comes to um, uh, religious uh, mm-hmm. aspects. A lot of Christians. Um, I just want to know, uh, like, at least, at least on my side, right, like. When when the topic of religion came up, at least in high school and stuff, right? Uh, it seemed like if a lot of kids, at the very least, like you know, if you ever asked, you would say like, ah, uh, you know, I'm I'm religious, but I don't really believe in you know whatever. And you can kind of see like the the hints of a uh, of atheism, mm-hmm. uh, in because that's kind of how mm-hmm. I I found myself a lot as well in high school. I I'm gonna assume that a lot of those kids uh, probably turned atheist once maybe they got up to college or maybe. They will become atheists in a couple of years, maybe. Uh, I just want to know, like, do you think maybe the the Texas, um, kind of like the stereotype that a lot of Texas is super, super conservative, is starting to go away? I mean, I know like a lot of Californians yeah. are starting to come here. Do you think uh, it's a yeah. little bit overblown at times? Oh, so I'll tell you this. So, you know, I actually grew up in Waco. Okay, so Waco, as far as – Waco is like uh, – is like a, a, a Baylor city. It's like a big city with a small town mindset, I guess. Um, definitely probably one of the most religious towns I've been to overall. I mean, yeah, we got Baylor university and just like, you can't throw a stone in Waco without hitting at least three churches. Like uh, a, a, a buddy of mine has a good phrase about Waco. It says there's more Christians than people in Waco. And I, I, that always cracks me up because it's just true. Like everybody's a Christian there, but you like going to San Antonio, you know, I, I went to college there for a little bit. That's where I was at in that video. Um, and it, it is definitely more of a liberal city. Um, now I live in Austin now, which is definitely the most liberal city in Texas. Houston is oh, probably absolutely. the next up there. And then maybe San Antonio, but is Texas as a whole changing? You know, I would, I want to say yes, but I I've been living here for a little bit now. So, you know, my, my bias in that is going to play a part, you know, uh, the, I'm not living in Waco anymore. I'm not seeing it, but Waco is definitely getting way more Californians for some, somehow, I don't know how they did it, but somehow Baylor university convinced all these California kids that Waco was a good place to spend for the four years of their early twenties. And I don't know how they did that because it's not, it's not a good decision. You guys had it good over there, like anywhere else. I don't know. Um, maybe they. I think it's cheaper here. Maybe they. I don't know what that marketing campaign looked like. I don't know what recruitment tactics they used. But damn, that is a, that is a that is a con. That's a con right there. I'm sorry. If you came from California to go to Baylor, I don't. I just don't know. I don't understand. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, maybe maybe the more people coming from other states is probably influencing that a bit. But I also think as a country overall, we are getting more secular as a whole um maybe not as fast as you or i would like but i think even in texas we're starting to see that too um but mm-hmm. I, that that is with the caveat though that being more secular does not mean being atheist mm-hmm. and i always have to remind people of this because people think oh you know there's more and more atheists now we're we're, we're taking over and no because what happens is just because you aren't into one religious belief doesn't mean you're into some other woo. (laughs) And uh, I I see more woo or people talking about woo now more than ever. Maybe that's because I'm just more aware of the world, (laughs) but like I, I just have, I have lots of friends here who aren't atheists, but just believe in just different things. And it's just like, that's, that's not, you know, if our goal is to disavow people of bad beliefs or beliefs that aren't true, 
then we still have a lot of work to do. You know, just being secular isn't necessarily enough. So that's my take on. Uh huh. I was going to ask kind of a follow up uh, partially to that. Do you think like people are becoming more secular, but like people are also at the same time, like it's becoming more polarized in general where people will become secular or maybe like the kind of the religious belief is becoming a little bit more secular, but still like kind of uh, hanging on in a sense or like, like transforming almost like it's like, Oh, maybe, you know, God isn't like this, but it's actually like this. So we perceive, maybe it is more secular, yeah. but the same amount of people still believe in, in God so or I, people I are can only tell more you, radicalized or something. Yeah. I can only tell you what the people who have spent a lot of time surveying and studying this have said and looking at Pew research statistics from the past couple of years, we're seeing a decline in a lot of the kind of traditional faiths. You know, there's there Methodists and Baptists, as far as I understand, aren't gaining as many, but evangelicals are not dropping as fast as other ones. And, you know, there might be, there's different ideas of why this might be. It could be because if you're a Baptist or a Methodist, chances are you're probably going to be more open-minded towards other ideas than if you're a hardcore evangelical. And that's just, that's not a statement of, you know, uh, discrimination against evangelicals. That's just the culture. The culture doesn't want you to know about the worldly ideas. They literally say that you are separate from the world and they want to keep you that way. And because, you know, it's supposed to be the best path forward. Obviously, you know, we would disagree with that. But if you grow up with that mindset and you're not going to be as doxastically open to other worldviews and other cultures, then yeah, I guess you're you're not going to be as likely to change. Whereas if you grew up a little more loose in your Christianity, then yeah, you may be a bit more syncretic. You may be able to take in, I know at least one Christian who believes in reincarnation. I don't know how that works, oh. but that's a belief that they have. So, you know, that, that's probably going to be more common as uh, the years go by. But what do you think about this, Erica? Oh, man. I mean, I come from uh, southern Indiana, so it's not quite Texas, but it's the Texas of the north. So, I, You know what? I've been to Indiana, and uh, I'd agree. I'd agree yeah. with that. Yeah. And, and I went to, I went to, um, a very, very evangelical Christian middle school, but I went to a very public high school and, uh, the mood there was very similar kind of to, to what our caller here is describing. I mean, it was a lot of people who were kind of just getting into that stage where, you know, you're, you're in your late teens, early twenties, and you've got a, a much more open mind than, than the very young or the very old. Um, so I think that, that having, resources, which is kind of we're in that area now with the internet and things like that for, for people who are in that stage to kind of access and, and nurture those questions is going to be very key. I mean, I think that's why we're seeing such a surge in, in, you know, the secular members of the United States. All right. Uh, well, I mean, that's, that's most of my question. I really appreciate you guys, uh, answering my question. I think you guys do great work and I hope you guys continue on. Hey, thank you. Thank you, AZ. Really appreciate it. You have a good rest of your night.